What's up YouTube, it's The Hobbyist here and in today's video what I have here is a $400 Ferragamo shoes which I bought for a friend on eBay. I mean I'm the guy who does online purchases. So. I'm really confused and that's how this video turned up. So I paid 400 uh, US dollars for this pair of Ferragamo Verina ballet shoes and the retail cost is about $595 and the first thing that happened I mean it was a Chinese seller so uh, when I got the box I was a little bit confused because uh, I mean it, it so far looks okay from the box here but like the print okay looks fine you know then I opened it and then I have this foot care product I mean it's, it was a Chinese seller so I guess he gave it for free right but it just so happened that my friend who asked me to purchase this uh, this pair of shoes for me she actually has a different pair of uh, Ferragamo shoes and I thought okay since uh, we're doing this online purchase and it's actually an expensive uh, product we'll do a comparison and uh, what I have here is her pair of Verina uh, ballet shoes which she got in the local Ferragamo shoes now that for sure we know that it's uh, authentic because she bought it from the Ferragamo shoes but mine came in the mail so first up we see in the box right I mean it's not fairly clear but they look more or less the same except for maybe the texture of the box so you can see that this is a, the real Ferragamo box it's kind of smooth nothing is really apparent this has a little bit of a, a different texture I mean but you know boxes can have differences then comes the strange part which I was talking about this sticker huh now you can see here the, uh, the sticker in the like let's just look at the sticker quality for the authentic Ferragamo shoes it's a little bit faded now I mean she bought this pair of shoes for like years already so you know it could be faded just because it's like that then comes in the font now First of all, uh, the sticker quality doesn't feel that great on this one, but hey, you know, it could be it could be a manufacturing thing. Then we have this, the Rosal Peyton Kauf uh, stationery. Well, hmm, the font looks a little different. And by the way, uh, the sizes here, okay, my friend is actually a size 8 according to Ferragamo. We had to buy a size 10 because the person, the seller on eBay said, hey, you gotta buy this, uh, the equivalent of their size 10 will be the size 8. So I wasn't really too sure about that, but okay, we just went to make sure that we get the, the right size. Now, my friend here isn't, uh, she's a little bit shy, so she didn't want to guest star in this uh, video. So, I mean, this is a female pair of shoes. I get that you're, the viewer, you're probably a female too. And uh, I hope this video becomes more informative for you because we're gonna do this comparison. So let's open up the box and take a look on the inside. So on the authentic, we have this, uh, let's try to flip it this way. We have the Made in Italy all stamped in here. And let's take a look at this box. Now, I'm kind of saying that this, uh, what I bought on eBay, right? I'm definitely gonna raise a case because I think that it's, uh, that we got we kind of got ripped off but i'm really confused so i'm gonna verify this uh, uh with the seller as in i've already uh emailed and i'm following up but i believe that this might be a really really good fake but you can take a look uh let me maybe you can rotate the video here because i can't really get the angle but the made in italy looks practically the same but the box texture is a little different. I give them that, but okay, that, that, that just might be something. So now let's move on to the actual paper. I mean, the paper aside, ah, minor details, you know? Like the box wise, it, it could be just some minor differences in terms of the country. Now we can see here, this, they have these soft sleeves. Uh, I guess this is to protect the, uh, the shoe itself, which I kind of appreciate from the seller since they know that they're shipping from eBay uh, not shipping from eBay but like they're they're shipping it to us now we have this uh, stick and uh, I mean it, I couldn't really put it on properly so it, it was it looked pretty good when they did that and we have the actual Ferragamo shoes so yep we have this 
and right off the bat we have this beautiful beautiful pair of Ferragamo shoes and it is smells of very good quality leather and uh, this patent leather feels pretty soft but according to my friend who and we went to Ferragamo uh, themselves to feel the leather the texture of this leather feels a little softer which uh, compared to the one on Ferragamo which actually isn't really a bad thing because you know leather shoes you kind of got to break into them so this is a little it's better that this is kind of soft but it is a minor difference that okay we're not too sure and then we look at the printing here uh, okay they stamped in Ferragamo and 10D which I or, or is that a hundred no it's 10 Delta now this is the part which we are gonna take a look at the actual Ferragamo shoes so we look at the bottom here and this is the most glaring difference is that they stamp 10 delta here which I assume is the size and I think it's the size and the real one that we got from the retail store doesn't of course it, it's kind of like a really minor thing but I'm not sure whether we got a real one so let me know in the comments but as of right now I'm thinking that we got ripped off but it, it's overall the feel is almost the same but but look at this, it says 10D So, and this doesn't have Now let's take a look at the platform itself Now clearly you can see that the, the one that we bought on the black one It's maybe about a little thicker About 0.4 centimeters. Yeah, it's really tiny minuscule difference but of course you can see like in the comparison that I'm showing you right now they are they're exactly the same size and if it's like a Cinderella fit on my friend so she tried the shoes and it feels really comfortable now let's move on to like the top here I'm sorry if this doesn't really go in sequence but please bear with me I'm not uh, it's, I'm kind of new to this so in terms of the inner sole okay you can let's take a look at the print thing so you can see clearly the the gold foil stamp kind of looks different it, it is a really really minor difference like you can see that there's a little bit of texture here that's not visible here but again uh, we're not too sure whether it's because uh, this shoe is brand new and whether this is not I wish we had a brand new pair of shoes but since the Verena Badley shoes are like $600 we can't get a brand new one just to do a comparison yet so uh, right now we have to deal with this uh, so it is a very minor difference but we sort of can see like the texture here versus here it's kind of different so I don't know if this is an effect of uh, the shoe being worn a few times then we get to the actual sole okay this you can't really see it because it's really uh, it's kind of like hardened now after being worn a few times but on this pair of shoes, it's actually really soft and it's actually really incredible because I kind of feel that this is a fake but if, uh, but it's so confusing to me like the quality is so good I mean $400 I guess they probably got a really good fake but I don't think this is real so this is something for you to look out guys I I'm, please enlighten me if you uh, I wasn't scammed but we're gonna get this checked out and we'll post an update on this so here we have the Ferragamo uh, like the label down here we have the plastic wrap still on it and my friend actually said I could take it off so let's just get this off and you can see that they are virtually identical so here here um, let me let me try to get this on so you can try to rotate the video around and you can see here they they look virtually identical but so you kind of can see the Ferragamo itself this the, or, the original one looks a tad bigger like just a tiny bit bigger in terms of the copying so in terms of the font size it's just really really minor difference so if you're looking at it from like at this distance it doesn't look that all different but when you look it up the reason how we notice this the only reason why we notice it is because my friend has the real pair 
here, which we bought from the retail store. So we can't go wrong with this. And when we got this on eBay, okay, we, I mean, I thought, oh crap, okay, we got, we got a really good deal, $200 off, that's great. Then we start comparing, ooh, things aren't really all there. And uh, I don't think this is right, so yeah. Anyway, in the other side of the shoe, we can, oh, I got them in the wrong boxes. Can't get that wrong. Let's just place this here. Now, on the other side of the shoe, we have something really interesting to take a look at. And that would be the sticker. Now you can see the sticker, kind of faded, says the made in Italy, everything, right? And what's the interesting part here is that, doesn't it look like the same style? This sticker here is like sort of faded, you can see the back of the box, and this sticker here is the same. Huh. So did, did we get ripped off or not? That is the big question. I have a feeling that we did. This must be a really, really good fake. You guys can check out the serial number. We'll definitely bring it down to Ferragamo and get it checked out. I just haven't checked it out because I just received this in the mail. You can see the size here says 10D. But the thing is, my friend wears this as a Cinderella fit. It's exactly the same fit as this 8D. You can see here on the real Ferragamo shoes. But then again, we, we're going to have to find out how we're going to deal with this because uh, I'm not going to pay for shipping back to the seller for a return. And we're going to see how we're going to manage this. And But overall, I mean, my, my friend just tried on the shoe anyway and she thought that it was really comfortable anyway. So either way, we're going to get our money back because I'm not paying $400 for something that, you know, these kind of things throw me off. And what really scares me the most is that if they had gotten an authentic box, and if it wasn't for this, uh, the size 10 Ds, we would think that this is real. Like, it's completely normal. So, yeah. It is comfortable, I guess, because it's really soft. Even I can feel it, and I can wear it on. The sole has very good cushioning for for these kind of flats. So I guess the price was there, but I feel that we got ripped off. And we're gonna see how we can manage this and uh, we'll definitely post an update if we don't have, we end up not having to return this pair of shoes. My friend is gonna try wearing it around for a couple of days. Hopefully nobody notices. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it to all my view viewers out there that this is, this thing is out there and it's incredibly confusing and scary and I think we need to have more information out there to help people in this kind of uh, to differentiate the fake versus real goods and if you guys don't uh, already watch my other videos I actually review a lot of toys where I kind of come across like uh, bootleg Funko Pops, action figures and I'm like, okay, this is what you're getting online this is what's available this, on the other hand, is a luxury good and a uh, for you, for those of you ladies who are up there trying to purchase this pair of shoes because it's a really gr good pair of shoes. My friend loves this these Verena ballet shoes. They look really classic and very comfortable. They, she highly recommends this shoe as well. We recommend this shoe. I I think they are great, and I just want to make sure that you guys don't get ripped off too. Like this looks really good, but the box and all us many many details that you could say like oh it's just a manufacturing thing but like uh, like it's a manufacturing consistency and the consistency uh the inconsistency i apologize is less than one percent different and the only thing that threw me off was that uh, or like that raised the red flags for me was that it came from china so anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought that, okay, this is a fake or if it was helpful to you. And most of all, what the thumbs up on the video does, it actually gets the word out to other people and gets recommended to them. Show this to your friends, see, tell me what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.